Have you noticed what's happening on TikTok? There's a fresh battle between tradwives and feminists. Feminism might be losing that battle and we'll be talking all about that. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of the Nigerian Talk with Dio. And whilst you're at it, help get this video more views by liking and sharing it. In my last episode, I spoke about Barbie feminism and the rise of the Kens. If you missed that one, I've linked it in the card above and in my description down below. For more context, you can go watch that and come back if you please. But basically, in that video, I said I would reveal who Ken actually represents in this episode. So if you came back to find out, cheers to you. So here are the two people that the dejected Ken character in the Barbie movie represents. One is the obvious choice, which is men who are now being oppressed by women and made to feel bad for simply existing as men, being masculine and wanting femininity in a girlfriend or wife. And number two is... Drum rolls, please. <laughs> women. Not feminists, so just women. You know the most factual line in the Barbie movie? I love women. I want to help women. Oh, come on. But everybody hates women. Women hate women and men hate women. It's the one thing we can all agree on. Absolutely bang on. Women dislike, compete with, and oppress other women while pretending that we are the most loving and inclusive beings on the planet. Which is why Christ's second coming will probably happen before female solidarity is achieved. So in the latest women versus women competition, it's trad wives or just women versus feminists. Check this out. I'm not a feminist. I can see men and I don't immediately feel threatened. I'm not a feminist. And then people ask me if I'm actually a woman. <laughs> I'm not a feminist. I can wear dresses and feel pretty. I'm not a feminist. Thank you. I'm not a feminist. I don't hate children. I'm not a feminist. I would watch this video and I wouldn't be offended. I'm not a feminist. I can actually cook. This video got up to 3 million views on TikTok and well, feminists and fellow keypad social justice warriors in the comments didn't like it very much. Somebody said, saying I'm not a feminist is so pick me energy. It's so sad because that girl has no idea how much feminism has done for her. I'm not a feminist. I seek male validation and put other women down for their beliefs. You're trying so hard to seek male validation and it's disgusting. <laughs> this male validation they keep saying. Haha, <laughs> the comments ate you up and I bet he still hasn't picked you. As a feminist, you need to get educated. You are taking us back 30 years. If you don't support women as a woman, please keep quiet while we fight for your rights. How pretentious. <sighs> I love how people on social media always act brand new. So you're trying to tell me that you don't know that modern self-proclaimed feminists are guilty of purporting ideals similar to the one this creator is pointing out in a satirical video. This might not be the true meaning of the word, but it's certainly how its advocates have presented themselves, especially in modern times. But don't take my word for it. Why is it remotely patronising for a man to open a door and say, please, ladies first? Where I think that the ladies first thing becomes quite patronising, and certainly a younger generation of women really think so, I did a kind of straw poll in my office yesterday, and the younger women feel really passionate about it, is because they feel it comes with a whole load of other assumptions. Mm. You know, it's an attitude that they think women are rather kind of fragile, delicate vessels that might break if they're not kind of looked See, after. Can I... It's about being, having manners, just, you know, but it's being about polite. intention. It's, it's, about, it. it's about power, yeah. and it's about what the expectation is on women. Not at all. And the kind of women who love that are often the kind of women who very much define themselves through a male gaze. Every day, I have some lovely uh, women in our makeup department. Who, yeah, but just that phrase is pretty patronising. Some lovely women. Yes. I'm so sorry for calling the women <laughs> lovely in the building. I'm so sorry. Wow. Thankfully, some people in the comments, albeit extremely few, this is TikTok after all. It's not like the standards of reasoning is exactly high. Some people got the point. Like this one. We've completely lost the plot on feminism. Exactly. This person says, for the you don't know what feminism is individuals, let me mansplain. <laughs> Video is a satire on modern feminism, women who just hate men. Again, da. So, triggered feminists took this video and stitched it. There are a lot of stitches, but these two were the most fascinating. I can actually cook. Hey, did you guys know that women weren't allowed to have their own credit cards until 1974? And they weren't allowed to open up their own bank accounts until the 1960s. And even then, a lot of bankers wouldn't allow them to open uh, bank accounts unless they got signatures from their husbands. That was 50 years ago. 1974 was 50 years ago. That's not that long ago. Okay, madam. Were you born in 1974? 
Hmm? Did you experience it? She goes on to talk about the work of feminists like the suffragettes who fought fiercely for the rights of women to vote in the UK. Again, constantly drawing a false parallel that has very little to do with what the creator of the video is talking about. Of course, most of the comments were lapping it up, but remarkably right on top of the pile with the highest likes was this brilliant comment. What you people aren't getting is that she's dismissing modern feminism, which is in fact very different from the suffragettes. You can disagree with modern feminism and still want a bank account, lol. Thank you. Discernment is so lost these days. I'm not a feminist. Oh, I am. I can actually cook. I'm a feminist. I can cook, but I'm not obligated to. I cook when I'm in the mood. You know who else can cook? My husband. But if neither of us have the energy or capacity one night, then we're serving frozen pizza. I'm not a feminist. I don't hate children. I'm a feminist and a mom and much more. I love my two children and I'm grateful to not be defined by them. I'm a feminist and I am so grateful for the women and men who have paved the way and continue to work for modern feminism. Where all people have equal rights and the opportunity to create lives and relationships that are unique to them. Uh, that's great, ma'am. But again, not the point. Remember when Ben Shapiro said this? Facts don't care about your feelings. Well, apparently feelings don't care about your facts either. You see, the thing with modern feminism is it doesn't listen. It's all feelings. Arrogance, authoritarian, self-centered, and bourgeois. Here are a few examples I've seen online. Women, women in this country still make 77 cents on the dollar for what men make. So if uh, women don't make less than men? Actually, if you start looking at the numbers, Rachel, uh, there are lots of reasons for that. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait. Well, don't tell me all, the reasons are... No, wait. Well, Don't tell me the all, reasons are. Do women make less than men for doing actually, the same work? Uh, Not the no, same work. because. Wow. Well, okay. Well, okay. well for we're example, men challenge. work. Men work an average of 44 hours a week. Women work 41 hours a week. Men go into professions like engineering, science, and math that earn more. Women want more flexibility. Listen, flexible this is not a math is hard. No, no, no. no. Yes, it is. Actually. No, it isn't. Well, no, listen. Look, listen. All right, let Rachel frame, frame it though. The but way Rachel, right right now, laid it up. Women are making 77 cents on the dollar for what men are making. So, given that some of us believe that women are getting paid less than men for doing the same work, I wish you were as right as about what you're saying as you are passionate about it. I really do. That's For really example, condescending. No. You're, there, I mean, this is a stylistic issue. Okay. There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm no, it's not a theory, mm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. What I'm trying to equalize is, is opportunity and choice. Fine, and let's I, equalize and choice. You agree, and you agree on that. that, but we won't get equal outcome think, that way. And I think that what happens then, uh, nobody knows, because we, we've, we've never done it yet. We do know, we know what's happened in it Scandinavia, but it's not fully got, got there yet. No, yet. but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted, and strongly. You know, let's take that as an example. The gender pay gap stands at just over 9%. It does seem that way, but multivariate analysis of the pay gap indicate that it doesn't exist. But that's so just not do, true, you know? is it? That's I mean, that 9% pay gap, that's a gap between median hourly earnings yeah. between men and women. But that multiple, exists. Yeah, but there's multiple reasons for that. One of them is gender, but it's not the only reason. Like yeah, you say, well, women in aggregate are paid less than men. Okay, well, then we break it down by age. We break it down by occupation. We break it down by interest. We break it down by personality. But you're saying basically it doesn't matter if women aren't getting to the top because that's what's skewing that gender pay gap, isn't it? You're saying, well, that's just a fact of no, life. Women aren't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. No, I'm not saying it doesn't matter either. You're saying, I'm saying, it's saying a fact there are of multiple life. reasons for it. Yeah, but those reasons, why, why should women put up with those reasons? You keep on talking about multivariate analysis. Let me give you an example. I'm saying that 9% pay gap exists. Yeah. Yeah. That's a gap between men and women. I'm not saying why it exists, but it exists. Now, yeah, if you you're a woman, that seems exists. pretty unfair. But do you agree that it's unfair? If you're a woman... Not necessarily. And on average, you're getting paid 9% less than a man. That's not fair, is it? I, I, don't under, I didn't understand a one word you said. Now, back to the original video. The feminists doing those stitches are the same as these women. They don't listen. Feminism for more than a decade now has lost its plot. Hell, feminists can't even define what a woman is anymore. What is a woman? A woman is a... And a actively supporting or just turning a blind eye to policies that will hurt women just to validate the very mentally unwell. So of course, trad wives and other women preaching a different message are appealing to regular women online. I mean, nobody wants to end up miserable regretting their life choices because they took bad advice.
Now, this is not to say that I'm in support of the trad wife lifestyle either. If you follow my videos, you've probably seen this video I made about right-wing wokeness on certain topics. I've linked that too in the cards and in the description below if you wish to watch it. <laughs> Jesus, the way I'm linking my videos these days, I'm starting to feel like the MCU. Avengers! Assemble. I'm on the side of balance. I believe that intent is very important. The intent behind an Andrew Tate's pushback against modern feminism is very different from that of a Jordan Peterson. Just because they might happen to share similar points once in a while doesn't mean they are coming from the same mindset. One wants domination and the other wants balance. Just like the feminists in the 60s and the feminists today obviously have very different goals. Learn to discern and you will lead a good life. Anyway, the Kens are rising and it is one nil to the trad wives. My name is Dio and thank you for watching. Guys, like I always say, I might be completely off the mark. So if you agree, you disagree, leave a comment below and I will see you on the next one. Udabo.